The weather doesn't get much better than this for early July. We had highs in the upper 70s to right near 80 degrees. Plenty of sunshine through the day with light winds, and now we still got that nice dry air filtering in, so that means comfortable humidity levels and lows tonight back down into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Plenty of sunshine expected through our 4th of July holiday on Sunday, and even into the day Monday, we're going to have a lot of sun, just a few more passing clouds. Monday, though, is when those temperatures start to crank up. So besides our forecast, we are also keeping an eye on the tropics because we should be good to go through about Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, the tropics may affect our weather, but it's actually looking less and less likely. Elsa was a hurricane, now a tropical storm working its way through the Caribbean. It should be moving over the island of Cuba through the day tomorrow. Cuba has a lot of mountains, so that may disrupt the circulation of Elsa. From there, it should pass over the Florida Keys and may make landfall somewhere along the west coast of Florida through the day on Tuesday, eventually passing near the Carolina coastline through the day Wednesday and into Thursday, then exiting back out into the Atlantic. On the current forecast track, the main impacts from Elsa should stay to our southeast, but what that system will do is bring additional moisture up into the region, and that is going to raise our rain chances later in the week. So we're not going to be directly affected by Elsa, but we are still going to see higher rain chances thanks to it opening the door for the moisture to come up from the south. So for tonight, fair skies, cool and comfortable with those lows in the upper 60, upper 50s to near 60 degrees. These temperatures are about 5 to 8 degrees below average for this time of year. And then we're back to seasonable norms as we go into the day on Sunday with mostly sunny skies. It's going to be a nice day similar to what we had today, except a little bit warmer. Those highs will be back closer to average for this time of year. We're back into the 90s by Monday and Tuesday. Both of those days will feature increasing humidity as well, so it's going to feel muggier outside. And Tuesdays when we'll introduce a few spotty showers, maybe a rumble of thunder to the forecast with those higher rain chances arriving as we go into late week.